What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Zee and Abs, the Zabs Project and today we're going to show you how to remove a dash of a Volkswagen Golf Mark 6. Make sure you disconnect your battery and leave it disconnected for 10 minutes. To remove the dash you've got about 40, around about roughly 40, 41 screws all over so you've got screws underneath as well as 10mm bolts for the airbag, screws behind this centre, like the radio, the heater box, the vents behind the ashtray. And then you got screws going around underneath and inside of the glove box around the side of the dashboard and the screws that i'm talking about are going to be t20s or t25 so the tools that you need would be get a ply bar like this nice soft plastic one gonna you know, get a t20 t25 torx and you're gonna get a 10 mil ratchet once you've got that the first thing i'm gonna do because i'm on the driver's side is I'm gonna work my way around the side. Uh, I'll probably come around this way. Then I'll go to the passenger side, go around the side, go underneath, take the glove box off. So I'll do all that side, and then I'll come around the center bit as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this side panel off. Just gonna get your ply tool, and they've got a little uh, marking over here for it. Just insert it in there. Take that off. T25 off here that holds the fuse box against the dash itself and you can leave the top one over there because that's obviously to the frame of the car as i'm removing this uh, t25 away from the fuse box you can see the whole fuse box just moving away from the dash i'm going to make more way from the bottom is i'm going to remove this tray over here so all you need to do is grab it from the center push it in itself bring it down and then just pull it out and then inside here, again, you've got two T20s, one over here and one over here. Remove them. Once you remove those T20 away from the bottom of the uh, dash, next I'm going to work my way up and I'm going to remove the trims around the dash on this side and this side over here. And then I'll take the headlight switch off. Now, in order to remove the dashboard trim, Whatever you do, do not apply it from this side. You need to do it from the opposite side because you've got a hook or a tab that goes in, so straight and then in to the dashboard. So if you do it from this side, it isn't a snap or break. So be, it is quite fragile, so be very careful. And there you guys come off now. Once you've done that, you want to pull it away from the dash, like this way. So if I turn it around now, that's the hook I'm talking about that goes inside this bit here. As you can see in here, you've got another T20 screw. If I can show it to you, just over there. Taking the other side of the trim now, off the dash. There you go. Just ply it around. Then wiggle it out. And again, it's the same concept. And you've the same uh, hook around here as well, into the dash over there, so be careful. Again, you've got another T20 hidden in here. But we'll do that once we remove the cluster. I'm going to get your plastic tool trim remover. Move it to this side over here. Like that. Same thing with the other side. Once you've done the side bits, you just want to get it from the bottom. Pull it out like that. Pull it aside. Just so this leather cloth here. It's attached to the bottom. The cluster, you got T20 over there. And another T20 over there. This one you might be able to see right over there Move them out of the way and then the cluster should come out just to mention um before removing the trim use your steering adjustment you can move it up down and then you can pull it towards yourself as well and as you come in you've got so much room uh to remove your trims and then there there's two screws i've already removed that one there and that's the second one and they're both t20s go ahead remove them screws once you've done that, then you can pull the cluster out. And once you pull the cluster out, then you can get access to the two T20s on the bottom. Normally you need two hands that you grab, but obviously I'm holding one with the camera. And there you go. All right, so I've managed to turn the cluster around just to show you guys that this is the only connection it's got. So you press into that, pull this up, and it'll disconnect itself like that. And then the cluster is now free. Remove it whichever way you please. Two T20s, 
over here and one over here. Remove them. Once you've got the cluster removed, if you come inside here, you've got a T25 behind the cluster over there. Make sure to remove that. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is remove the headlight switch. And what you need to do to remove the headlight switch is push it in, turn it right, and pull it out. And once you've done that, just remove this cable out of the way. Okay. Here you've got another T20, remove that. Once you've removed that T20 out of the way, you've got another T20 underneath the trim over here. Remove that out of the way. And then the whole trim is free and you can remove it. You've got clips underneath. You've got a T20 underneath here, T20 behind here, T20 underneath the cluster. There you go. Just remove that cable out of the way as well. T25 and then T20. Now this is one of the main bolts, I hold T25 that hold the dash. You've also got another T20 uh, bolt just underneath, I'm not sure if you can see it, but just underneath here. It's just underneath the um, tray over here, just under here inside here so t20 there take that off once that's all done from the driver's side we're gonna go and remove the driver's side pillar once you remove the airbag sign you're gonna have a t25 inside the pillar remove that t25 and the pillar will be free to come off you got the pillar removed just move that aside uh the reason for removing the pillar is as it gets stuck into the dash over there it clips into the dash and obviously as you try to remove the dash from it that will be coming in the way so move out of the way and save that hassle okay once you've done all the driver side the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all the center trims and then the heater box the stereo and the top vents so we're going to start from the bottom i've already uh taken the trims off so first you're going to do is uh take the gear surround trim off move that aside put in gear then you've got two t20 bolts go ahead and remove them once you've done that then i'm going to remove the stereo surround trim And then the climate control trim. And you've got a plug behind that. Just unplug that. Put that aside. And then you've got T20s around the climate box. One, two, three, four. As well as four around the stereo. Go ahead and remove them. Once the T20s are removed, pull your heater box out. And you've got three plugs behind that. Go ahead and remove them. So I've just turned the uh, heater box around. So, so this one you just uh, squeeze and pull out two pins. This one here is a bit slightly bit tricky. It's more locked in. So what you need to do is get a sharp tool like this. You want to pull the red tabs up. Once they've done, then you can just squeeze a tab and pull it out. That's the heater box. Same thing with the stereo, pull that out, and then you've got a couple of plugs on the back of that. This tab over here that needs to pull up, and then you can pull this cable out, like that. There you go. And with this one over here, just pinch this tab over here, pull this up, and away. Next, go ahead and remove your heater vents. The reason for that is because you have a cable that you want to disconnect which is this white one over here, the plug. So go ahead and disconnect that. So this cable runs from clips into the box over here. So take that clip off and just undo it from here like that. And you can disconnect that. Once you've done that, then you want to pull the ashtray out. And you've got three plugs, remove them. And once you remove the plugs, pull the ashtray out. After that, you want to remove this trim over here. You need to pull it down to take it off the clips, squeeze it and pull it out. And underneath you've got T25 bolt, go ahead and remove that. Next, we are going to concentrate on the center console in the back where the handbrake sits. So you need to remove that plastic cover, that plastic cover, and that plastic cover. Remove them to reveal the bolts. As you can see, you've got T20 there, T20 there, and a T20, two T20s over there. Once you remove the bolts, you got plug underneath for the AUX. So what you want to do is move it forward, lift it up and remove the plug from the back. And then this can be removed. Once that's removed, then you want to remove this trim over here. Now to remove this trim over here, you have two T20 bolts, one on this side and one on this side over here. Remove them and clip from this side 
and unclip it from that side. Once you remove those two T20 bolts, you just want to grab it from here and pull it upwards. And then this trim is free now. You can pull this aside. I'm going to remove the center holding that holds the stereo and the heater box. So it's T20, T20, you've got T20, T20, and then you've got two T20s underneath. You've got two T20s inside there. Remove them as well. Let's remove all the T20 screws and pull the center holding out. Now for the center console, you also got T20 on this side and on this side, go ahead and remove them. Once they are removed, you can move this aside or you can take it out. It's entirely up to you how you do it. I'm just going to move it aside, leave it in the bottom here so it's free from the dash, as you can see. Now I'm going to remove the, uh, the trim underneath the steering column, this one over here. Behind that trim, you've got a T25. Go ahead and remove that. That's underneath the steering column on the driver's side. Now we've got all the trims and T20 and T25 from the driver's side, from the center console and the center behind the uh, stereo. Now we're gonna concentrate on the passenger side. And the only thing we need to take off here is the uh, glove box and the pillar. So let's do go ahead with the glove box. You got three T20s underneath the glove box, if I show you from here. So you got one over here one over here and one right at the end over there so remove them first once you remove the uh, t20 screws underneath the glove box open the glove box three t20s underneath inside the glove box which is one two and three go ahead and remove them once you've done that you need to remove the trim piece just unclip that just remove this trim piece on the side of the dash And then just remove this trim piece over here. And then just pull the glove box down. Now, as you pull the glove box down, you've got two plugs. One is the glove box light, like so. And then you have this pin over here. Move that out of the way. Done that. The glove box is now stuck in this trim over here. So just move that trim like that. And just pull the glove box away. Then you got this pipe over here behind the glove box. Just remove that. And you got another cable in the back over here. Remove that. And now the glove box is free. Now you got T25 and a T20. And remove this pillar as well. You got T25 inside here. Remove that. The pillar should come off. And you got T25 on the right side behind the glove box. Remove that as well. And you got a T25 ball underneath here. Go ahead, remove that as well. Now that we got all the trims and uh, T20 and T25 bolts removed. The only thing that's holding onto the dashboard now are the airbags. So you've got the knee bag underneath, which are four 10 mil bolts. If I show you. Two in this side and you've got two in this side. Okay, just want to show you, once you remove the airbag, how to disconnect the cable. So just be careful with it. Just leave it like this. Two like this. Hook it in. Made a little groove over here. Push it up and then just disconnect it like that. That's how you remove the airbag and then the airbag, just pick it up and put it aside safely. And you also have the connector in the passenger airbag that you need to disconnect. So go ahead and disconnect that as well. So if I just show it to you how it's done, get a pin tool like this inside there. Pull this out. Like that and then just disconnect it wiggle it out and there you go now once you remove the knee airbag you have two t20 bolts if i can show you just underneath there one there and one on the other side but there it's one there and one there go ahead remove them and that will remove this side of the dashboard completely from the driver's side then you can remove the steering wheel airbag so get your key in there, put the ignition on, turn it to the left, you're gonna get a sharp tool in there, you're gonna put it in and you're gonna push it downwards and then pull the steering airbag towards yourself and that should come off. Now if I can just show you, that's the pin over there. So you just wanna get in like this and move the pin down. As you move the pin down, put it in, 
we're done like this and that's your airbag now released once you release the pins remove the airbag safety clip get a flat screw over and just remove the cable connector and there you go once you've done that what i'm going to do next is i'm going to remove the steering wheel so it's a t55 gonna get that in there under the bolt and the steering wheel can come out so i've got the bolt off now the steering wheel can come off after the steering wheel we're going to do the uh, steering column cowling now as you can this is already loose what you need to do this is held by clip so this can come off and then the bottom one, two T20s, one on this side, one on this side, and then you've got another one underneath the cowling in here. Remove those bolts, and then the cowling from the bottom can come off as well. Just bear in mind, you've got the ignition switch there, so it's got to come off like that. So if I show you two T20s on the side, and one T20 underneath there. Now the dash is free, nothing's holding it back, and it is nice and loose. As you can see, it's coming off the back. The only thing is holding it now or that will get in the way are the stalks. Now to take the stalks off, all this comes as a complete unit so you don't need to separate them. The only thing you need to do is remove this loom over here which is connected to the ignition barrel and then you've got a T10 just underneath over here, this bit over here. You need to remove that. Once they are removed, then all this as one unit can come out. Once you've disconnected the T10 and this loom over here. Now you're ready to pull this out and there you go. That's how simple it is. It comes out as a complete unit as I've shown it to you. And this is where the cable or connector for the ignition barrel sits in this motherboard over here. And now we can remove the dash. Mm -hmm. Woohoo, yes. Let's go ahead and remove the dash. So just remember you've got another cable here that you need to take off, which is connected to your glove to your dash just clip there you go so it's just clipped on like that Let's take that off push that put all the cables inside and then just pull the dash I've also got this cable over here, the one we disconnected from here earlier, is running from the back of the dash, from this vent over here, down here. So we've just pulled it out from the back and fed it, fed it through here. And then we just pulled it all the way out. And now that's loose as well. So now there's nothing holding the dash. Now we can take the dash out. It's gone, it's out, it's away. And that's how a car looks without a dash. That's one dash out, no dash in the car. We've it's also, spacious, it? very spacious. We've got the passenger airbag that's come out with the dash. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, stay blessed. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and comment. Let us know how we did on this video. We'll see you in the next one.